Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. As I promised you last time when I was making the kale uh, stew, I promised that I will show you how to make um, ugale. It is a Kenyan staple dish that goes hand in hand with um, the kale stew. So what I need uh, for my ugali or rather is an African staple meal is just water, boiled water and um, this is about 200 grams of maize or corn flour which is uh, the white which is not sweet at all it's just plain and uh, what I'm going to prepare is something like polenta, uh, the Italian version of of polenta, but is a it's not too hard, neither is it too soft. So uh, just bear with me as I show you how to do it. So I've already boiled some water, so I'll just put in them in pour my water in the hot. Uh, I'm just seeing the measurements because on my pan I have uh, a pan which has measurements so the water is about let me have a look so it's just about a liter of water so what I will do this is the stirring uh, stick that you need to be able to cook this meal. So what I will do, I'll just pour, start pouring little by little and stirring, making sure that everything is made. It's like a porridge, but it's not quite because you need it a little bit thicker than porridge because uh, you want to eat it with a stew. So I'll just pour it out and I just keep stirring. I just keep stirring. Just make sure that all the bubbles that are coming up, I just keep stirring because I want to break up uh, all the flour that hasn't uh, been broken into the water. I just keep stirring. And as it bubbles up, just keep stirring so it almost looks like a uh, kind of like porridge but soon enough I will add a little bit more of flour and it'll start thickening so I will add a little bit more of flour So until I get the right consistency that I'm looking for, so I'm putting a little bit more flour and I keep stirring. Remember, it's just exactly almost like making polenta, it's only that it's not as light as polenta. It needs to be way more thicker, but it's the same concept. about 200 uh, grams or maybe 250 grams is enough to feed our family of four and it's very very easy meal to make because within 15 minutes it's all ready I'm afraid.
keep stirring. When I just see that all the flour is all mixed up and the consistency is right, so I will just cover it and let it just stay in for a couple of minutes before I check it again. Just cover it and uh, it will be just boiling for a couple of minutes. So we are checking to see how well it's formed. It's more like a, a cake but not baked. It's rather uh, on the fire and uh, it's just basically water and it's just having the right consistency it's nice and soft it's not hard because you don't want uh, hard stuff to go with your kale you just want the right consistency so I'm just starting to just form it nicely so I'll prepare it for putting off the fire and uh, I will put it up in a plate and then you can see how. So it takes about uh, roughly about 15 minutes. So it's a very, very uh, simple and convenient uh, meal, which is a healthy meal first of all. Uh, and this is something that I grew up eating. So for me, this was a staple food, it's just like for Asians, the staple food is rice, my staple food back at home is this cornmeal and different kind of stew, but yeah, basically, yeah, for the European or Americans, this bread for, for us is this cornbread. And uh, yeah, so I'll just wait for it to cook a little bit more and then I will be getting it out. So our uh, cornbread or gali is nice and ready so it's ready to come out of the fire. So I will switch off the fire and remember last time I made um, kale to accompany my uh, cornbread so that's what we will be serving our cornbread with so i will remove it and what we usually do is we just flip it over and yeah that is our lovely cornbread ready to be eaten by the family to be shared and uh, yeah to have a lovely evening and yeah rest after a hard long week and uh yeah uh if you like uh, my video today i would recommend for this you want uh to have the accompaniment of the kale so if you watch my uh, previous video of how to cook kale this one will uh, work hand in hand so I would recommend that you watch uh, my video. I will post it in the um, at the end so that you can be able to to watch it. But uh, so far, thank you very much for watching, and let's keep this thing going. It's talking up with Gladwell, cooking wonderful meals, especially healthy, uh, good African meals. So, yeah. Let's keep it going and thank you very much folks. Bye for now. God bless.